Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 The Great War mod. A mod that, as should be abundantly clear by now, I do enjoy, but I also have issues with. So, in this part we will be hopefully getting the uh, Soviet Union to spawn and maybe even capitulating the entirety of the Russian Empire. Make no guarantees that that's going to actually be the case, but that was at the very least the plan. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and also make sure there's at least a little bit of music in the background. And let's go and I'll be running the game on uh, four speed and that's I don't hear anything at all. Okay, now I at least hear something. Had to apparently raise the uh, volume on my microphone, or not my microphone, my uh, headset actually. Oh, did Japan join? Yeah, Japan's already in. Gee, thanks Japan. You couldn't stay out of the war for once. The, see, the Ottomans don't really have anybody on this front. While it's a fairly concentrated front, there's not a lot of enemy, the Russians on it in particular. They could very easily, at least in my opinion, they should be able to very easily push up and through into there and probably even make it to uh, Zaritzin. Uh, this front is a little bit more well defended, so I can understand them not being able to push through there. Uh, Portugal is still out of the war, correct? Yes, but probably for not much longer. And I'm going to actually tell you guys to be aggressive. Just go. That's literally all I want you guys to do is just go. Get in there. Try and at least secure sort of the southern portion of Africa. My navy is too damn small. It's not possible for me to try and even combat the British and French Navy, especially the combination of them. I mean, I might be able to beat the French Navy, but I sure as hell ain't beating the British Navy, and so the two together are definitely a no. It looks like the Russians are putting more of their troops sort of up north, or at least they're Better equipped troops are further up north, although the Austrians are managing to push through, which is all that matters. It doesn't matter who pushes through, it can be me or the Austrians. We just need enough people to push through. Far enough in to force the Soviets to spawn. Now I do probably have to move you guys up a little bit closer for you to more effectively provide support. You're probably a little bit too far away right now. And I think that might have been the last of our subs. Uh, no, we apparently still have six subs. Somehow. Yeah, I'm surprised they're still alive. Uh, I am actually going to go ahead and tell you guys to stop doing that. Focus on getting more convoys. Because, yeah, and I'm just going to scrap our sub fleet. Don't need the red guys all the way up there. Thank you very much, game. <sighs> we need some more troops up there. Go. No, you idiot. Stay. Is that, or is that not... Oh, that's not adjacent to anything. Okay, you can go wherever the hell you please then. Where are you guys going to? You're going to the blue guys. The light blue guys on the Luxembourg border. Which could be helpful. They could stand to have the extra troops. Uh, how are you guys pushing over here on the Russian front? Uh, you're pushing okay? I mean, there are some areas where you are still struggling to push through. Although I think that's partly because the AI is just not doing the best job of actually organizing the troops, plus the enemy has the entrenching bonuses, which are absolutely ridiculous in terms of defense. At a 52% bonus, like holy crap, who the hell thought that was a good bonus? 
Now it's pretty much impossible to push through, especially if you have the time to actually build up entrenchment bonuses. How the hell are you guys exceeding combat width? These are units with a combat width of 20. I don't understand how you got- oh, never mind, that's the enemies that are going over their combat width. How are you guys doing? Still having a bit of a hard time. Granted, I can understand that. Pretty much any supplies going to Africa are being cut off. Now, if the Ottomans can push through and secure Cairo, basically just get past the Suez, that'd be great. But guess what they're not doing? They're not pushing. They're defending. Okay. Ottomans, if you can secure uh, Erevan, the actual city, you can push through a lot faster because you'll extend the front. Just go out on the offensive AI. Oh my god. I understand you prefer to play defensively, but it's not actually helping us with you playing defensively. Are we researching tanks? Yes, we got five days until the tank prototype is done. Okay, let's see. I guess I should go and research the early light machine gun. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, what was that we even just researched? Oh yes, the stall helm. Let's go ahead and equip that to our Strasstruppen. Re-equipped infantry. Whoops. That increases their defense, which is obviously helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and also give it to our uh, Struts Truppen down in Africa. They could stand to get some helmets. Uh, why do I have infantry brigades? Oh, I think I know why. It's because down here, isn't it? No? Yes, you are an infantry brigade. You. Schutz Truppen. You guys. Shit's trooping as well, actually. Get rid of those. I don't care for them. I'm also going to go in. It, it doesn't cost us anything to equip our troops with stall helms. There's literally no difference in terms of production costs and whatnot, so you might as well give it to everybody. No, so it's fast for me to just act as though I'm going to replace them with an entire brigade of something else, or an entire battalion of something else. And then swap them back. So there we go. Now we have more defense. Is it really going to affect anything? Probably not. Although our models do change the actual World War II models now. Okay, we have also gotten the Schutz Troop deployment into uh, Africa. Or, well, we will in just a moment. We got four divisions here. Now you guys are going to go on that little front line there. Now I'm going to tell you guys to push down south. And Portugal just joined the war. Now I can gain a little bit extra manpower by doing the uh, Berlin-Baghdad railway, railway and then getting the Asian Corps. And I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go for the... Let's see... Do I already have? No, I do not have three, and this is going to support me with number three, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and get trench, war trench Warfare Focus. You guys need to hurry up and get down there so you can push down here and support the troops. Also, yes, I forgot Portugal. Yes, yes, go. You guys now have to push up and along through the Portuguese Republic stuff. And there's our tank prototype research. Now we cannot actually build any tanks because researching tank prototype does not actually get you any tanks. You still have to go and research the Sturmpanzer Wagon A7V, so let's go ahead and do that. Now the audio is a little bit too loud for my taste. And 
and obviously we still have those issues. Uh, now the AI I don't think generally actually equips their troops with the uh, re-equipped infantry. So yeah, these AI should still be relatively easy to beat as time advances. Because like I said, I don't believe they actually upgrade. Now the Austrians are going to struggle to get through there and I think this is triggering the event for the Soviets. The Tsar Nicholas abdicates, a demonstration that forced the poor Tsar into official abdication. Though the Tsar has named Grand Duke Michael as its successor, the Duke has declined this offer. The appointment of a weak provisional government which shared power with the Petrograd Soviet Socialists led to confusion and chaos both at the front and at home. The army became increasingly ineffective. The German army controls this location in Kovno. Location is originally owned by Russian Empire, yada yada yada. So, okay, yeah, I need to push, I guess, just far enough into Kovno to trigger it. Now, these guys are in their own faction now. They're in the white movement. Now, previous versions of the mod, you could get away with waiting for the Soviet Union to be capitulated by the Russian Empire and then proceed to go and beat the crap out of the Russian Empire and annex them in their entirety, which was great in terms of resources because you got the sweet, sweet oil down in Baku, you got the uh, tons of wood, you got a little bit of oil up in Pecora, and of course you get all the wonderful, wonderful chromium and steel and all that nice jazz, but now you can't do that in my experience. Just like down here with the Republic of China, the Soviet Union is pretty much forced to win to the point where there's really nothing you can do to stop them from winning. So at this point, I might as well just go ahead and continue beating the crap out of the Russians so I can try and force them out of the war as quickly as possible. If for some reason we have not won the war by 1918, which I don't think will be the case, but hey, you never know. Uh, but if for some reason we haven't, I can obviously go and declare war on the Soviet Union and conquer them then. But I don't think that'll be the case. We are now starting to win some more of these battles over here on the Western Front. And once we have tanks, especially once we actually have some decent production of them as well, we'll be able to relatively easily actually push through. Oh, you guys are over your cap. Okay, let's go ahead and move you guys down here then. Move the Zeppelins. Mongolian state joins the white movement. That way you guys don't suffer the penalties. Now, of course, I also don't have any fighters. Neither does the enemy, though, from the looks of it. So their air superiority, quote-unquote, only really comes into effect because they have just more aircraft fighting over those regions. Now, see, this is such a weak front. It really is. I'd love to push through it, but I can't. Well, actually, that's not true. Can you guys push through right there now? If you get maybe a little bit of backup. I think you guys can. That is one of the more powerful forts in the region. I can't attack the weaker fort. Oh my god. Wonderful. Go. Push through there. They don't have anyone defending it. Stupid AI reorganizing its troops. That was a terrible idea. Oh, you guys can't push up from there. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. We've managed to push into France. Finally. Technically, they push into our territory up in Luxembourg a little bit, but it's only one province. And I can push through even further. Okay, come on, game. We need to push as many troops as we can down into there. Can you guys support that front? And then the rest of you try and attack down into there. We need to try and turn the tide of these battles. How's Africa doing? Uh, you guys don't... Okay, you guys are pushing just very slowly. The borders haven't really changed in Africa. Not a surprise. It's Africa. Supplies, crap. Infrastructures, crap. People are going to be very slow getting around. But yes, we finally managed to push into France. It's wonderful. We 
No, 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 no. Get in there. Take that. It is absolutely vital that you guys manage to push further into France. Non-aggression pact with the Soviets? I'm gonna say no. Because they, they're not gonna attack me. It's a relatively safe bet that they won't attack me. Okay, yeah, it looks like you guys aren't gonna push through there. Uh, can you guys push into there now? That'll also help to alleviate some of the troops over here because... The enemy is going to be forced to fight on two fronts. Come on, come on, come on. And you guys are going to actually go and support that front, or that attack, I believe, once we finally manage to finish here. Nope, the enemy is going to attack us again. I am lacking the supplies. I mean, let's look at you guys. You guys are lacking infantry equipment, but it's mostly the heavy artillery that we lack. But there's not a whole lot I can do to deal with that. I could build more military factories, certainly. But again, you're waiting for those to be built. I do wish, though, that I could tell these guys to... Okay, you guys are going to be set to attack on that, if you don't mind. I don't know why you were, like, seemingly set to attack up there. You really shouldn't be. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you guys aren't going to manage to push through there right now, so hold off. You guys give up on that offensive because it looks like it's going to fail now anyway. The enemy's really trying to push down into there. See, I th honestly think you guys could win this push. You just need the supplies. That's the main issue. And the support. Do we have any... Uh, we do have some free cast that could possibly stand to get in. You guys should be able to cover there. What is this nonsense? If the dudes in Frankfurt can get there, I'm pretty sure the guys down in Munich can get there. I mean, yeah, there's some more hills, but I mean, come on, game. Come on. You need to push into there. If you can push into there, that'll be wonderful. Damn. Um, take half of you guys and tell you to push there to prevent the enemy from being able to reinforce. Or at least delay reinforcements. We're mostly going to have to deal with soft attack. Realistically speaking, the enemy's not going to have a whole bunch of tanks. So I'd much rather go for the anti-tank warfare. Which is a little bit weird of a naming scheme. Considering if you think anti-tank, you're probably thinking destroying tanks. So I'd probably reverse the names of these, personally. Yeah, I honestly think those should be reversed. Anti-tank warfare should be hard attack, while heavy tank support should be soft attack, in my opinion, at least. So we're going to go for that. Although, actually, let me see. What else do we have as options? I wouldn't mind getting better recovery rates. So let's go and research uh, motorized ambulances. Okay, y you guys can't attack from there. I don't know why the hell you're standing there. Okay, you guys really can't attack from there? Seriously? Okay, go and support our good friends, the... Uh, Italians down there, because they look like they need it. Uh, do we have... Yes, we do. Let's go and get some more Zeppelins. Uh, I don't know how you guys have 203 out of 200. I just want to make sure that's noted. Because 50-50, unless these guys don't actually take... No, that's... Oh, well, it was probably partly because of the stupid Italian or uh, Austrians having troops. Ships, ah, not ships, planes stationed there. Okay, you guys, you know what? Just deploy those guys, get them in there. We need those support, that support. 
I would love it if you guys could surround some of these guys. And no, quit helping the Austrians push. They're doing perfectly fine on their own. I'd rather have our troops focus on helping us push. Uh, how are our current war is going with the Soviet-Russian war? It is in favor of the aggressor, which is considered the Soviet Union. Get in there. Okay, that push failed, so forget about it. See, there's like nobody defending right here, but they keep attacking the dudes in Nancy. So I can't push any further unless I can manage to push over here, which isn't going to happen. Because I would need some support from the dudes in Nancy. Or, yeah, well, I'm just going to call it Nancy. I don't care if that's actually how you pronounce it or not. And we have a severe lack of infantry equipment. I don't think anybody should be surprised by that. And I just realized I slowed the game down to 3 speed at some point. Uh, that is the Visage, right? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, I'd love to get those forts back up, if you don't mind, game. It'd be absolutely wonderful. If I could. Uh, we got a lot of losses of uh, armored cars, apparently. Apparently our armored cars are taking quite the beating. Is it possible for you guys to push into there? Yes, especially with some support from the neighboring provinces. Well, you probably need some more support. But you guys should be able to do, although you actually probably have an easier time pushing up into there. Because there's only a single guy defending that province. Wonderful. If you don't mind, back him up. Uh, they do still have some ports there, but if we can, we'd still be able to cut them off. No. No. You guys, push. Don't know why you guys decided, oh, well, I guess we'll stop pushing now, since the enemy's running away. If the enemy runs away, you take advantage of that and push in. You idiots. You don't just arbitrarily decide, oh, well, if the enemy's running away, I guess we can stop advancing. It's not the way it works. You might want it to work that way, but that's not how it works. Oh, okay. I was like, why'd that suddenly drop down to 92? It's because there's a pocket down here now of 8 divisions. Well, for me it's 8 divisions. If you guys can take that, we'd cut off their supplies, meaning we could easily completely annihilate a couple of divisions. It's not a whole lot of troops in the grand scheme of things, but it is troops nonetheless. Troops at the enemy won't be able to utilize because they'll lose all the manpower, or at least a good enough portion of it to make sure they're not a real threat you guys push into there you back them up we got the trench warfare focus done so we can get some better stuff let's get bulgaria in the war hopefully they'll actually help against the serbs i don't think they really will though new ruler of egypt um interesting i assume that was a national focus probably for the british to probably get some kind of support by giving the uh, Egyptians, I guess, probably more control of their own. I don't know. Uh, Hussein Kamel has been declared Sultan of Egypt. The British forces deposed his nephew. The newly created Sultan of Egypt is declared a Brit or was declared a British protector. This event formally ended Ottoman sovereignty over Egypt. Um, yeah, game. Considering Egypt was never under the control of the Ottoman Empire, I mean, historically, sure, maybe, but at the end of the day, in this mod, they've always been on the side of the British. <laughs> so, 
Honestly, that event's largely irrelevant outside of just they putting a historical leader in charge, I guess. Okay, game, I don't really care to have 40 divisions right here. We don't need 40. We'll do perfectly fine, probably with, like, half that number. And I could go ahead and have the number, but screw that. Get in there! Yes, the enemy's running away. That means you advance, you idiots. Why do you keep forgetting that? Oh, God damn it! Is it right click? Yeah, it's right click. God damn it! I really hate that. And obviously, continue the advance. And how are you guys good doing down? Oh, we got kicked out of Nancy. Great. I would have loved to have held Nancy. And Hajiz has capitulated. Not surprised. And of course, there was probably a naval invasion by the British. Uh, how's the thing going with the Soviets? Is it almost over? No, not quite. Uh, it's looking like we're gonna have to push. It's looked like I'm gonna have to push a lot further than I normally do because the Soviets are kind of failing miserably. If they would move up and take Petrograd, this would be over a lot faster. But they're not pushing up into Petrograd. Also, you guys, go offensive. There's not a whole lot of troops here. They're very well equipped, or not very well equipped. They have very little organization. They're just general crap. So take advantage of that and push. How's our stuff in Africa going? Um, I guess just kind of the usual, really. Not much of a change. Uh, you know what I'd love for you guys to do is, you know, push. Yeah, I'm talking about you guys. You guys have supplies. Take advantage of them and push. I mean, geez, game, I think you'd do a better job at that, but you're not. There's literally nobody defending. I have those guys set to be aggressive, and they already have an order to advance. Just a general order to advance. You'd think they'd be smart enough to say, hey, you know, we should probably, you know, advance. But with us having orders to advance and there being no enemies defending the area... But apparently that didn't cross their mind. Also, game says I need 41 divisions to properly defend that. Um, I'll just hope I don't actually need the 40 divisions. Oh, I'm going to need more because I am going to get some territory. Oh, are the Soviet... Ah, oh, I would not complain about the Soviets losing, personally. Uh, but I would not be surprised if by this point the mod creators have gotten smart and decided to implement in that the Russians return to the Entente if they survive. Okay. And same with you, Austria-Hungary. Why are you failing so miserably? Also, God, that is such an ugly border for Romania. I'd much rather that be Austrian, personally. <laughs> Granted, Romania is going to be staying out of the war. But still, I'd honestly prefer for that to be Austrian, just because it doesn't look as ugly sticking out like that into Austrian territory. You guys could take Minsk and go push Austrians. Why aren't you pushing? I hate you, Austria. I really do. I'd also love it if you gave me your supplies, but you probably don't have any supplies. Questland lease. Give me infantry equipment. Yeah. Insufficient supply. Everybody has inf insufficient supply. Probably even the U.S. is in sufficient supply, so it's probably not really lend leasing much of it all to the Entente. No, it's currently just guaranteeing the independence of everybody in the Americas. If you guys could push down there, just so that we could, you know, maybe capitulate a couple of, or annihilate a couple of 
more uh, Russian troops, about to say Soviet. They're not Soviet, they're just Russian. I mean, for all I know, some of them might be Soviets, but nonetheless, as far as I know, they're just Russians. Oh, that's still going to take forever for you to research. It's probably not worth it then. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get heavy industry too. That'll hopefully help us deal a little bit with our deficit of infantry equipment and other supplies that are vital to the war effort. Now, see, Sweden, you're out of the war. You have literally no reason to not supply us outside of just a reluctance to do so. Yes, your opinion of me is not good enough. Suppose I can dump some stuff into you. Yeah, I see already Lend Leasing. Luxembourg, Belgium, Italy, the Portuguese, Canada, and Serbia. What about Norway? Norway's already supporting other people. Screw you too, Norway. What about you, Denmark? Are you not supporting anybody? Then why don't you support me? You might actually do it if I decide to improve relations with you a little bit. That's wonderful, because I could stand to get some infantry equipment, even if it's literally crap. Also, I'm surprised you're staying out of this. I really am. Normally by this point you would have already joined the war. I don't have an issue with you staying out of the war, in all honesty. And you got insufficient equipment anyway though, so you will never do it. Uh, Iran. How about you feel like supporting us, Germany? You might do it. Let's improve relations with you. What about you, Afghanistan? Will you give me infantry equipment? You might actually do it. I'll just go ahead and improve relations with you as well. Could go to Ethiopia, or rather Abyssinia, as it currently is known as. You might actually do it as well. That's wonderful. Let's improve relations with you. Yes, this is pretty severely biting into my daily political power gain, but I don't really give a crap. It shouldn't take too long, honestly. Uh, and, oh, Bulgaria, you probably also have a deficit, but I guess I can ask. Just to see if I can snag anything from you. Yeah, no, I'm not able to currently snag anything from you before the war. Before you join the war, and especially once you join the war, I'm definitely not getting anything. See, I think you guys can push there. Or maybe not, actually. Wonderful! More stuff. Drop it into the... Oh wow, I didn't realize we had so few there. Uh, yeah. Dump more infantry equipment. I didn't realize I only had a single line. It's probably partly why we have such a deficit of infantry equipment, is because I only had a single line running of it. Damn it! They're able to relieve those troops. Ottoman Empire is capitulated. I'm not surprised. And for some stupid reason, some of it went to Russia. Don't ask. Actually, I'm curious how that's going to work then. Is that going to become Ottoman again? Oh, well, no. It looks like the Soviets are going to actually die. This will be interesting. Soviet Union is capitulated. Please stay out of the Entente again. Thank you very much. Russia took five states, and you're still in the white movement. Absolutely grand. Yes, it means I'll have- oh, what the hell? Seriously, game? That is some nonsense. Okay, Soviets still exist, even once they- How does that happen? That can't physically happen if they force the Soviets to capitulate, and they annex five states. Guess how many states the Soviets own? I'll tell you what, it's more than five. I can understand that maybe existing in one of these provinces, but they should have lost most of these except for one state. But they didn't, because the mod really, really, really needs the Soviets to exist for some reason. 
They're so intent on a, it's physically impossible for you as the Russians to defeat the Soviets. I hate that, I really do. How close are you Russians to capitulating? A pretty long ways off because you beat the Soviets. So I'm gonna have to take Petrograd. I'm gonna have to take um, Zaritzy and Kiev and uh, Moscow. A bunch of other places as well. And then, and only then, would I be able to force your capitulation. And even then, I'll probably have to take all of Finland. Because reasons. <sighs> Let's get artillery effort. The Soviets should not exist. I just want to make that abundantly clear. They should not exist. But the mod devs do not give a crap. And so they have decided to allow it. Oh. Wow, Bulgaria. Is your supply really that bad? Also, just push in. You may not have a lot of supplies, but there's basically no one defending that front line. If you can push in and take Nice and Skiob, or however it's pronounced, that'd be great. Especially while there's so few troops defending that front line. Oh god, I really hate the game sometimes. The AI is so stupid. It has the ability to help turn the tide of the war, and it doesn't do so because it doesn't understand how to fight a war. That's one thing I'll always hate about Hoy. It just doesn't seem to understand the concept of fighting a war. It doesn't know how to take advantage of things. And while they have certainly improved the AI to a degree, it's still brain dead at times. I mean, they had a good couple of days that they could have easily pushed up and taken Nis, maybe even pushed down into Skiob from there, encircling these troops and considering that the Greeks are currently outside of the war, they would have been able to cut off a couple of divisions, which would have given them the ability to... Oh my god, yep, mm-mm. By now, you guys should be used to this. I will be complaining about this mod and Hoy pretty much throughout this entire series because there will always be things to complain about with them. Let's see. What do I want to go for? I don't think I have any real supply consumption issues. Let's go and research continuous track because we're going to be getting tanks. Are you guys actually pushing now? Um, not really. And you guys seem a little bit all over the place as to uh, who's doing what. So, I mean, if you don't mind, reorganize your lines a little. Thanks. And you can't push because you don't have the organization. You should have the supply, though. You just don't have the organization to push. And, I mean, you could easily do it if the AI would just not be brain dead and push! <sighs> no, nothing to really add there. And somehow the French just got a shit ton of troops now. Okay, what do I need more of? Support equipment. Well, actually, basically just anything that the ground troops are using is what I need more of. Uh, let's see. I mean, if I go down the list, it'd be support equipment. Down the production list, at least. But in terms of what I need, it's infantry equipment and it's still support equipment. Followed by field guns, heavy artillery, motorized, and then armored cars. I'll just get the extra... Let's just go down the list like that, then screw it. So yes, I actually won't complain about being able to actually annex the entirety of Russia, because that's 50 to 53 military factories that we'll get for basically no work. Well, not really true, actually. Uh, for roughly 5 million men lost. 
in total in the war. But you guys need to push. Go up there. Take the better organized one, have him push. You support there. And he's just gonna stand there. You are supporting them, it's just for some reason the game- Oh, now it's probably because I was paused for one thing. Wonderful, you support there as well. Armored car, I'd much prefer for you to go up there and then support from up there again. Extending the frontage. Although I guess in this case it was largely irrelevant to extend the front. Uh, but it uh, looks like you're probably not going to be able to really do that. Come on, Austrians, you need to push more. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how the game will handle it. The Soviets are now have a truce with the Russians, so... I would hope that their events for the... Um, God, now I can't remember the name of it. Treaty of Brest-Litovsk won't trigger, but it probably will, because the Soviets exist. That's sort of the important part, is that they exist. And War in the West, as per usual, it stays relatively still. We have supply issues, as one would expect. Uh, actually, no, you go over there. You need to try and relieve those guys if at all possible. And it's possible. Whether or not you'll do it is a different story altogether. Also, why does the enemy have... Yeah, that's a load of BS game. They'd have to get all the way down here realistically for me to have absolutely zero encryption. Oh, well, actually, do you guys have recon? You do have recon, so I don't know why we literally can't see the enemy. Because we should. Uh, no, I'd much rather you push up there, if you don't mind. We are getting shore bombarded. You push there. You push there. Oh, once we hit the Soviet border, this is really going to screw with us. I'll end up with a couple of troops down here, and then the bulk of the army is going to be like up into Finland. You guys just push as far as you can. Just keep pushing. It's annoying that I have to micro you guys a little bit for you to realize you can push, but if I have to do it, I'll do it. Uh, let's go ahead and get the armament effort. I actually prefer for you guys to just push up into Petrograd, just sort of beeline for it. I don't think the Russians are really going to be defending here. Uh, I am also going to reorganize this to tell you guys to basically just kind of push up along the Soviet border up into Petrograd. Like that. If this does mean you guys can push, I hope you realize that, right? Your new general orders indicate that you can push. That means you should push. 
Those are, those are still a long ways off. Uh, let's go ahead and get the light support. Uh, oh, looks like the Soviets are actually going to be defending Petrograd. Kind of sucks. Uh, you push. You push there, you push there. United States joins the Entente. Romania joins the white movement. What the hell, Romania? When were you allowed to join that? Okay. Okay, I need to look through this. Because I think that's a load of BS, actually. I don't think they have anything in here to... Okay, they have improved relations with Romania, but that's it from what I gather. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a load of BS. That really does. Yes, the 1916 Olympics should be cancelled. The hell wouldn't they be cancelled for? Also, pause game. I need to do a little bit of work here if you don't mind. Because our fronts are all screwed up now. Okay, also, we don't actually have any of our support anymore. Where is the nearest, uh... Wow, I... I don't see any. Oh, we got one right there. It's not a particularly great spot, admittedly. Because it's right on the front line, so it can easily get taken. If the AI felt so inclined. You push up there. You push up there. Yep, you guys spread out. Hopefully we won't have any BS of the Russians being able to attack from the Soviet Union territories, although that could easily happen because I've seen it happen. And it shouldn't, but the fact of the matter is that it does. Focus on getting those military. I don't give a crap about the civilian one games. It's just the military factories. Those are the ones that are actually important to me. Okay, now... That makes no sense for you to have troops there because they can't attack across this lake. Wonderful heavy industry too that'll hopefully help us a little bit. Also, I'm going to change your guys' attack plan on Petrograd and just tell you to advance up there. Oh, wonderful. We got a pocket of six Russian divisions. War on the West is still not moving. I have not finished researching tanks. I'll probably end this part once we have tanks researched. Okay, there we go. You can push into there. We managed to relieve those units. That was wonderful. A little surprised by that, but I have no problem with it. Those guys do actually have a... Oh, screw you, Japan. naval invading into Africa just because he can. It may not make any sense, but they can do it, so they do. Really, game? You're gonna put just one division there. Oh, I hate you sometimes, game. I really do. Kill those guys. Everybody, just attack. Okay, let's see. 
I mean, I guess I should probably get some new Omar cars since we're still going to be running around with them for quite a while. Oh, well, looks like we're finally managing to push in Petrograd, which is great. Because that's going to speed this up quite a bit. Whoa. All of you support. Enlarge the front if you have to. I want Petrograd. I think we can rename Petrograd as well. Oh, well, they could be remembering wrong. That may only be in the base game, but I thought this mod also added in the sort of renaming of some of these Russian cities. Although I think that's un although it's probably unlikely, since in theory that shouldn't happen. Since the Soviet Union is supposed to always win. Yeah, we're probably going to attack the Soviet Union. Pretty much as soon as we can. Wonderful. The Soviets are taking a lot of casualties, but we've already taken a ton of casualties of our own at this point, so it's not too substantial of a difference. We're over here, still unchanged and unpaused again, as per usual. There we go. We have our tanks. Let's go ahead. We're going to strip a line of both of those. We're going to queue up some tanks and we're moving them to the top of the line. I want them to have their resources. Uh, game, you screwed that up. I hope you realize that. Now, I could research light tanks, which, realistically speaking, would probably suffice. For the most part. Uh, let's go ahead and get mechanical computing too. Oh, and of course you guys screw up your attack lines. You always screw them up. Just attack up along that. I don't really care how you do it. Just do it. Yeah, I mean you guys need more troops if you're gonna actually attack along that entire front, but whatever. I'm going to wait for these units to be capitulated. Go! Everybody, attack! You guys, move down there, though. Just finish those guys off. I think it's BS that we've caused 33% of the world's uh, tension. Uh, just because of the Great War, and of course, yes, the game is going to go the, we're going to blame the Germans. Even though it is still, yet again, the Austrians declaring war on the Serbs that started the actual war. Germany didn't help, admittedly, yeah, but still, at the end of the day, they weren't the ones that actually declared the war. So I do think it's stupid that we get a default 30% malice of world tension because we started the war, even though we didn't start the war. So, are you guys all still going to refuse to support us? Yeah, looks like it. Ah! Oh. I mean, I guess that works. You'll give me a little bit. Uh, Iran, how do you feel about giving me a little bit of infantry equipment? You'll give me some wonderful. What about you, Afghanistan? You're gonna give me some now? Oh, no, I don't want field artillery. I mean, I need that as well, but I'll take just infantry equipment. Uh, okay, Iran or yeah, Iran's gonna give me 159 basic infantry equipment. Afghanistan will give me 178. Sweden. I do like how you are willing to do it. I just need better relations with you. So let's keep trying to improve relations with you. Uh, Spain, you're going to stay out of the war, but how do you feel about it? Oh, you're reluctant to do it because you don't like me. Nobody likes me. Abyssinia, I don't think you have anything particularly great, but are you willing to do it? You are. You'll give me infantry equipment as well. Shouldn't be surprised by that. Brazil. I know you're buddy-buddy with the U.S., but you are actually willing to do it, which is a wonderful thing. What about you, Mexico? You say hell no, but that's mostly because you rely you lack supplies to even do it in the first place. Okay, well that's still gonna get us some more infantry equipment. It's not a whole lot. 
but it will help to deal with our deficit a little bit. Which is a nice thing. Now our Russian front troops should be fine for the most part. You go up to uh, Tamer Fours. Oh, and the, they all just canceled. Screw you guys. I'm I honestly think that's stupid. Oh yeah, sure, we'll give you supplies. Oh wait, did we say we'd give you supplies? Yeah, we were lying about that. Stupid game. Just be lying for Abo. I don't care about the docks. I really don't. Now I need oil. Uh, I guess I'll get this little bit of oil from the Austrians, if assuming they actually will give it to me. You go over there. Armament effort three, wonderful. Again, I can get some more manpower if I do uh, prepare for war. Let's go ahead and get another research slot. Also, I meant to go and look into our heavy armor division. Yeah, no, that's not what we're gonna do, game. We're gonna slap armored cars in there. I don't really have any armored cars, but we're still gonna do it. Because that's still gonna be helpful. That was a weird route that you're planning to take. And I know I said I was going to end this part once we took, uh, or once we got to the um, tanks, but yeah, I lied about that, clearly. Wonderful. You also help push up into there. You push that route. you guys doing down there you're doing okay how close are the russians pretty good ways off still now i do want to make sure you guys oh wait game what are you doing why are you sending so many troops up into finland i don't need that many troops in finland although there's a lot of supply in finland surprisingly yeah, you guys go down there and back them up, because for some reason the game's tossing pretty much everybody up into Finland. I don't really know why. I honestly don't. Do we get another closer? No, it doesn't look like it. There's one in the, um, down in the Austrian territories, but we don't actually have one closer. Attack there. The enemy was going to try and move into one of these other provinces and cut us off. Oh, we need more uh, for the stupid convoys. I don't give a crap about the convoys game. I really don't. I just need them built because we do need them. Because of our guys down in Africa. Looks like the Russians are actually putting a decent amount of troops up into... Uh, I'm actually surprised by the amount of troops they're tossing up into there. Uh, has the West... No, Western Front hasn't moved at all. Uh, that seems to be pretty stable. I'm not surprised by that. Damn it, now they have a port down there. I should have gone and dealt with them. I just didn't care to. I figured they probably wouldn't advance. Turns out, I was wrong. They did. Oh, you guys are so close to Moscow. Just do that. I mean, really, game. I understand it's a very weird thing to do, but just do it. And 
And yeah, you're gonna have to support the attack on Moscow as well. Because they've actually got some fresh troops. Oh, you're gonna have to deal with those idiots now as well. Wonderful. But once you deal with these idiots, which should be relatively quickly, I mean, they're well supplied, but they have no organization. Oh no, you. Actually, yeah, no, you go and support the attack on Moscow. Oh, now we got some French dudes in Moscow, of course. Now, you guys can be a little bit more aggressive on some of these, considering the amount of troops that you've tossed up into your game. Okay, no, you can't attack it. Reorganize the line game. If these guys can't possibly be attacked or attack anywhere, they should move up. To a location where they'll actually be useful. Okay, wonderful game. Let's get some more of those into the armored cars, if you don't mind. And I guess I'll get the oil then. We'll go to Mexico for it. You know, that means I'm going to have to be using convoys, which sucks because they'll get destroyed. Okay, the Russians are very close to capitulation, relatively speaking, at least. Uh, they'll probably capitulate if I can get down into Zaretsin. Uh, like I said, you guys can be more aggressive. I hope you realize that. Just do that weird ass thing and you go up there. We'll deal with the fallout that's going to inevitably occur because of these weird snaking into their territory that's going to occur as a result. Uh, the consequences shouldn't be too significant. Oh wonderful, you're advancing. Why are you guys just standing still? I saw him. Go there. And then cut down into there. See if you can cut off supplies. That's 15 divisions that I could encircle. Well, possibly at least. Okay, change of plans. You're gonna go and finish the encirclement. How are you guys doing? Okay, you're finally deciding to advance now all of a sudden. Up, oh, and then you get intercepted, of course. Western Front hasn't moved? No, nope. wonderful. Well, not completely wonderful. I mean, it's kind of wonderful because it obviously means the enemy's not attacking, but... Or, well, they are attacking, but they're not able to push through. Oh, Bulgaria, you had your opportunity. You screwed it up miserably. Or, yeah, you screwed it up completely. Now, you're the, only, yeah, you're the only major in your faction, so if I can capitulate you, depending on how the game decides to handle this, I'll either be able to annex all of Russia, which I would love to do, or we'll end up with the Treaty of brest occurring, which I honestly would prefer to not be the case. And I just realized you went over an hour. Okay, well, never mind then. That's going to have to wait till next part. So I will see you guys in the next part, but until then, goodbye and farewell.